Hello everybody. Today we're going to chat a little bit about the new Berkeley Essential Dingle Dangles that they fought out. With a big change in angling where we started fishing with coffee grinder reels and braid and we're using the multipliers and the nylon much less. The whole way we do our baits and cast our baits have changed as well. It seems like the braid, if you cast it without clipping your bait to the sinker, you lose a lot of distance. So the whole fishing industry changed and we are building our baits around a dingle dangle, clipping our hook onto our dingle dangle and then the sinker as well to make everything nice and streamlined to get the distance required with the braid. So with the new essential dingle dangles that came out, it just makes our lives much easier. You don't have to sit at home and battle to make your own dingles. It's easy to buy them, they're all the same sizes. Your baits are uniform, you can get used to making the same baits on the same dingles. Berkeley did a very good job with these dingles in the sense that they've made a whole different range from ones with no float at all. That's your bait that you want to sit on the bottom, most probably for your flat fish and stuff like that. And then with some bigger floats in all different lengths. And then right at the end here we've got the big floats, right up to some nice big fat floats. And that'll be for your big baits, obviously your big raggy baits or big shark baits. And even if you make a, a nice bait where you're floating a chock or something, they'll work like a bomb. So the whole Berkeley Essential Dingle Dangle range works very well for us. As I said, it's a nice versatile range, and with these in your box, you can really go out there and just improve your angling a lot. A lot of people will ask, why do you want to actually float baits or not float baits? And it all comes back to targeting a certain species, your water reading, and what type of bait you want to build. Often you fish an area where the fish swim in a higher water column, and your normal bait without any flotation will be out of reach for those fish. So that's when you're going to go with your flotation, lift the bait off the bottom and get it into the zone. It takes a bit of practice and um, obviously a bit of water reading as I said to get your bait in the right zone but as soon as you get that zone where the fish feed you can keep on using the same dingle and you will catch much more fish. The flotation that, that Berkeley used in the dingle is a nice hard float so it helps you to shape your bait around it and gives your bait a nice firm texture so it doesn't fall apart and um, with it being quite hard, it also floats very well. So especially when you want to lift your bigger baits up, this nice hard foam, it's got a nice dense foam that lifts the bait up high and get it in the zone you want. The Berkeley Dingles are also nice in the sense that they're not very expensive. So it won't break the bank when you go and buy yourself a whole bunch of these things. And with them being built so sturdy, they'll actually last you quite long and you can use them over and over again. So it's not something you can use once and throw away. So it's a good investment and it's really improved my angling and I'm sure it'll improve your angling as well.